And Nick, what was it like trying to come from behind tonight? Because it seemed like even just getting to two to one was tough with that goalie appearance and then them scoring the last goal in the second. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought we had some good chances. You know, we had some good O's on time and um, just couldn't get into the back of the net. And, you know, going forward, we just got to find ways to, to win games and bear down in those moments and climb back and get on top. And we did some good things out there, but we also uh, made some mistakes that cost us. So um, when you're playing a team like that, you got you to limit those mistakes. But, I mean, I thought we, we did a lot of good things, but we just got to do it for a full 60. We can't have those mental breakdowns. What was the frustration level after the second because you pushed and worked so hard to get that one goal and then get it right back? Yeah, I don't know if you call it frustration. Um, I think the, the group in here, we're trying to get away from frustration and, and, and focus on positives. Uh, you know, when you let frustration come into your game, that's when uh, bad things happen and then it just trickles down. So in here, we just try to keep a positive, uh, positive attitude. You know, we, we said we did a lot of good things. We did a lot of good work and it's going to come at some point. So um, just didn't come for us. You know, like I said, we got to bear down on those chances around the net and, and make sure this goes in because, you know, to make playoffs and, and to win in playoffs, teams find a way to win. Um, that's what we got to do. You guys didn't allow that many chances to those guys, but the, the odd man rushes obviously really hurt you tonight. I mean, what do you guys have to do to kind of alleviate some of those? You know, you're not going to be able to yeah. stop them all, but you just know. mental breakdowns. You know, um, making a bad read for not reloading or pinching or uh, just little little things like that. You know, going against a team like that, they're going to turn those those odd mans and and and, and just score, create a scoring chances. So, um, like I said, just being smart and not having those lapses. Um, you know, like I said, did some good things. You just got to learn to do a full six. Minute. You know, uh, the less mental mistakes we make and the less opportunities we give them, um, that's how good teams win. So I think we just got to focus on that. So that was the fifth game of that six game stretch that Coop had talked about coming back from the, from the road trip. How much more importance now is this on tomorrow night's game? Yeah, we just got to win tomorrow. Plain and simple, everyone knows it, and in here knows it. Um, yeah, that's all we're thinking about coming in, um, working a full 60 minutes, being a winning hockey team, and coming out on top. Good. I mean, it seemed like you guys were creating chances tonight. Did it feel like this was just a game of costly mistakes? Yeah, f partly for sure. Um, you know, their goaltender played well. We had some some good looks, like he said, and just felt like the little mistakes that we made, they all ended up in in the net. So, you know, you look at the shots at the end of the game, and they are what they are, and usually win those types of games. But. Um, you know, we haven't been on the right end of, of a few of those games this year, so it's 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 tough. The, the second period, like you work so hard to get that one goal to make it one goal game again, and then they scored. You know. Yeah, I mean that's something. You know, you talk about when you know you're in minor hockey, the shift after a goal is a big one, right? And uh, unfortunate, you know, play where we were a little in between and. You know, stuff like that happens. Mistakes happen. It's just it was just a tough, tough timing. But that's the way it went tonight. And um, you know, it's it's tough when when you're you think you're playing some some good games, but you know, for whatever reason, uh, the first periods were our best periods for a stretch. And now we're we're giving teams you know a couple goals in the first. Our seconds weren't good, and now they're good. So we got to figure out a way to try to at least string parts of each period together for a full game. Like you said, you know, parts of this game you, you didn't allow much for. You know, the, the, how do you kind of try to alleviate some of those mistakes that are killing you guys? You know, because it seems like the, even though you are playing parts of good games, it's, it's those little mistakes that just keep on. Yeah, it's, it's a combination of not scoring as much as we'd like, probably five on five, because that'll alleviate some of those swings, right? Where you've, if we can get a couple goals, then you know maybe we're feeling a little different about ourselves and we're not feel like we need to press or chase or, or make a risky play. So I think that's part of it. And the other half, like you said, when um, when you are behind and, you, and you're trying to chase, you know, sometimes, you know, you're making plays that aren't necessarily the, the smart ones because you're pressing and they've just ended up in our net this year. Some emphasis put on the six-game stretch here coming back from that road trip. Tomorrow game is game number six. How much more of an emphasis now is on that game? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if tonight felt like a home game, but um, tomorrow we're going to need to to find a way. We talked about it, you know. We were three and zero. Oh, we're three and two. Four and two is a little uh, is a little bit better. So um, you know, we need to get back at it. The good thing in, in these types of games, you play tomorrow and. 
you know, you, you find a way to win and, you know, start, start, you know, we need a stretch here. We need to put together a, a string of, of at least getting points in games to, to keep ourselves in this race. We're approaching the halfway mark of the season. Do you feel like the changes that you guys made on defense at the beginning of the season are panning out? How do you anticipate it? I don't know. What do you, what do you mean by that? Like the new defensive system that you guys Well, it's not to. really crazy new. The other thing is if, if you're looking, well, because I think, let's see, we had 80 shot attempts and they had 37. I don't know, that's, I'll take that all day. Uh, you hold a team to 37 shot attempts in a game, 21 shots. They got a bunch of freebie shots at the end. I don't even know. After two periods, they had 14 shots. So I think, I don't know if your question's valid. Sorry. Dan, you, you've talked a lot about this all year. So sometimes the mis as you guys build your game, the mistakes that you guys are making are, are constantly ending up in your own net. They, they do. And we have actually talked about that, how, uh, you know, this, this group, they can play 57 minutes of solid hockey and then the three minutes that go awry, uh, the puck ends up in the net. Uh, but you look at that first one, uh, probably, a, you know, probably didn't make the greatest play, probably should have just got that in deep there. And, uh, and we ended up, you know, giving up a rush. You know, I think, you know, Hedy misses the puck, then blows a tire. So that's, you know, that's just some unfortunate things happening to us. Um, you know, the third one is just all three players involved in it knew exactly what they did wrong, but, you know, you wish you could take that back 30 seconds before it happened. Uh, that was a tough one to give up just in the sense that we basically had the puck in their zone the whole time, got one back, and, you know, with a minute and a half left to go down 3-1 is, uh, it would, that was that was tough for us. Does chasing games like the way you've had to do this season, does it put more pressure on the five-on-five? Five? I mean, because I think guys would say that that's kind of in a lot where where you guys need to be a little bit more productive, you know? I mean, it, uh, and, and maybe where some of those mistakes are coming from, too. You know? Yeah, I, again... We've you know, piled up a few minuses because of some of the five-on-five five play, um, but some of it's you know for probably a little bit of lack of scoring. Um, you know, like the the Nick Paul play, he probably puts that in 999 times out of a thousand. The one time it didn't go in tonight was uh, was obviously tonight. So, um, but like I said, you know the pucks we threw at the net, the chances we had. Uh, for us only to get one is, uh, that's, that's tough. And, uh, you know, those are the things we just got to keep doing. And again, you're never going to play mistake free hockey. I think if, you know, New York looks at the tape, they'll be sitting there going, Oh my God, I can't believe this happened, but theirs went in and ours didn't. And, uh, um, I, I, you know, you're going to statistically look at all the things that all the smart people do behind the numbers and go, wow, can't believe this, this team won 5-1. But they did. And that's the only number that counts. And we have to start reversing that. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can do that tomorrow. You've, you've talked a lot about this stretch, this five, six-game stretch, yeah. you know, going in, into the end of the end of the month. Now that you losing two of them, I mean, how much of a sense of urgency is there? Well, we can't go three and three on this little stretch here. You know, if we happen to win tomorrow and it's four and two, hey, well, that's we'll take that. Um, but we can't, we can't come out of this three and three heading on the road against you know Winnipeg, who's one of the best teams in the West, and Minnesota, who doesn't seem to lose much anymore, and and then Boston. So, um, you know, we've got to take some points here, give us a little momentum going on the road. Connor Sherry. What's that? Connor Sherry. You missed. Yeah, he's. We'll get evaluated tomorrow.